going to do finding and drawing lines of symmetry. So you have to find lines of symmetry and you may have to draw lines of symmetry. So at the top it says how many lines of symmetry does each polygon have? That's what you're going to be looking for. So if you look at the first one, in step one it says to draw a triangle like the one that is shown so that all sides have equal length. Okay, see how they're using one, two, three dots. So how many are going to use here? One, two, three dots. And one, two, three dots. Okay, now if you were to take this and fold the triangle, it says to fold it in different ways to test for line symmetry. Draw along the fold lines that are lines of symmetry. So if I fold it, it looks like they're trying to fold it by taking the piece of paper and dividing it in half, and that's not half just because of the way the marker is working. But do you see that they're folding it here? Okay, so if I was to fold it and look at it, is it going to be equal on both sides? Okay, what if I fold it from top to bottom? No. Okay, so it says, is there a line of symmetry if you fold a paper horizontally? So this is vertically, so horizontally would be this way, right? So is there one if I do it horizontally? No. So no is your answer here. Now it says to repeat the steps for each polygon that is shown and then complete the table. So let's think about these. How many sides is what's listed with the triangle and then the number of lines of symmetry? Now just because a triangle has three sides does not mean that it's always going to have the same amount of lines of symmetry. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's go on over here to the square. How many sides does the square have? Four. Four. Okay, so think about if I had a square, how many times could I divide this with a line of symmetry and make it equal? Can I do it horizontally? Can I do it vertically? Could I do it diagonally? Just one way diagonally though? No. Aha, so I could do it like this, or I could have taken it and done it like that. Does that make sense? So how many not lines of symmetry will I have? Four. Okay. With me so far. Okay, how many sizes of parallelogram have? Four. Four. Now let's think about this. How many different times can I draw a line of symmetry through that parallelogram and have equal sides matching exactly? Morgan? Two. Only two. So this is one of those examples where I have four sides, but my parallelogram only can have two lines of symmetry. Okay, what about the rhombus? How many sides do I have again? Four. Four seems to be a good number today. And is it going to be similar to the parallelogram? Yeah. Yeah, so if I divided it here, and I divided it here, so how many ways? Two. Two. Okay, everybody following so far? What about a trapezoid? How many sides does it have? Four. Four again. And how many times can I put a line of symmetry in this one, Elena? Only one. Where would I draw it? Horizontally, vertically, diagonally? Vertically, right down in the middle. So that means I'm only going to have one line of symmetry. Okay. And how many sides does a hexagon have? Six. Six. So let's think about this one. If I have lines of symmetry, how many lines of symmetry would I use, Adrian? You're going to have six. Okay, you can do it horizontally, vertically, and diagonally with all of those sides. So you would have six. Does that make sense? Yes. Now it says, in a regular polygon, all sides are of equal length and all angles are equal. What do you notice about the number of lines of symmetry in regular polygons? So you had triangle is three with three, Square was four with four, parallelogram four with two lines of symmetry, same as the rhombus. Your trapezoid had four and one line of symmetry, and your hexagon had six and six. Regular polygons would be which ones? Is triangle regular polygon? 
Okay, what about a square? Okay, what else? It's a regular. Hexagon. So, which ones are not the regular ones? Yep. These right here are not regular ones. Make sense? So, take a look at these. 3 and 3, 4 and 4, 6 and 6. What do we notice? They have the same amount of lines of symmetry that they have sides of that sheet. Yes? So, the number, and I'll let you use the number symbol, of lines of symmetry. is the same as the number of sides. question there. It's asking about lines of symmetry in a circle. How many lines of symmetry does a circle have? I hear a lot. Okay, you know how many? No, there are, but there is an endless number because you can draw your line of symmetry through the center of that circle anywhere. And because it's round, it will be a line of symmetry everywhere. So there is not, it's like an inf infinite number, okay? Or an endless number of possible ways of drawing lines of symmetry in a circle. That's why typically they don't use a circle, okay? Because you can do it forever. All right, switching the page, please. All right, now you're gonna have a chance to make some designs with your symmetry. Now, I'm not going to get you your blocks because I think you can draw them and I don't want you to trace them and then get them all messed up anyway because that's what most of you would do was take your pattern blocks and trace them and sometimes they're not going to fit in that box anyway. So look at what they did here. You are to make a design by using more than one pattern block. You're going to record your design and then you have to draw a line or lines of symmetry. So there can be more than one. Take a look at the one they drew. They put a trapezoid on the left, a square in the middle, and a trapezoid on the right. It does, as you're looking through it. Uh -huh. Now, as they did that, notice that they put it all together. They're touching. Everything is touching. So when you are drawing yours out, should everything touch? Yes. Okay? So it's like you would be putting your pattern blocks together in some type of design. They need to be touching each other. All right? So... As you can see, once they did that, they went ahead and drew their lines of symmetry through the middle, horizontally, as well as vertically. So if I was to look at this portion, does it match this portion? Now it looks like a bow now that I'm dividing it up. So this piece and this piece is the same, correct? The same thing would happen if I was doing it the other direction. So if I divided it here, this is what your sides would look like. Now, I will tell you, some of you when drawing yours out are not as good at drawing it when you only have one side. Because you have to really look at what's going on. How would it mirror itself, basically? Okay, and they call it reflection, as we talked about. So making a design with one line of symmetry only. So whatever you draw, it can only have one line of symmetry. So do you have to be careful with what you draw? Now, I want you to use more than one pattern block, please. Yes. Okay. Make a design with more than two lines of symmetry. So you can have more than two. It doesn't say just two. It has to be more. And then this one says make a design that doesn't have any lines of symmetry. Ooh, you're going to have to do some thinking, aren't you? Yes. All right. So let's work on those. All right. Let's go down to the share and show portion here at the bottom. If you didn't finish the top part, you will have to go back and draw those. Look at number one. Let's read it. The shape at the right has line symmetry. Draw the two lines of symmetry. So where can I draw my first line of symmetry? 
symmetry, John Reese. Oh. Vertical where? In the middle of the X. So I'm going to draw it going right down the middle of the X. Where can I draw another line of symmetry in this particular shape, Chase? Thank you. 